days and cool nights. Well, right now the farmers out there are also giving a heads up that the melon season sadly is coming to an end. So we sent Bill Folsom to Rocky Ford to get a better timeline. Out here, the advice is don't settle for counterfeits. Rocky Ford melons, they have a reputation to keep. Only there's a short window to get them. A few months over the summer, and that window is starting to close. There's the thump. That was so rude. Also giving a sniff. What is it about the melons? They're sweet. They're juicy. They're just fantastic. So much so, Gracie Matthew drives a long way to get them from the farm. It's about 28 miles from our house to here. We have a lot of people from Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri. Many go out of their way to make a stop in Rocky Ford during the harvest. There are also options delivering melons closer to you. It's the reason for all the activity behind the Knapp's Farm Market. There's a lot going on around here. We're still loading out cantaloupe and watermelons to send to the stores, as well as the farmers markets around the state. A half dozen tractors and forklifts going back and forth from fields where about 30 people are picking vine ripened melons. Plenty right now, but peak season has passed and farmers are down to their last large fields. For the grocery stores, you're probably limited to about 10 days. Here locally, we, I think we'll probably see them here for about four more weeks. Estimates assuming warm days will continue. Most of the people that are coming into the market right now are wanting to know when we're closing. And I just, my standard response is it's all up to the weather. So, plenty of melons right now, but farmers are using the term last call, meaning time is short, but there is still time left. In Rocky Ford, Bill Folsom, News 5.